Simultaneous equation. Eight marks. Why don't you have a go? Maybe you can pause it and check to see if you get the solution. GCSE further maths. Are you booging me? Find the point of intersection between these two. Okay. It's not really a conventional question, right? Usually you have like a quadratic and a linear. This, well, maybe this is linear. We'll see later on. But this is definitely not linear. This is a reciprocal graph. So what some students do here when they see this is they're always trying to rearrange for either x or y. Yeah, they say, okay, x is minus two over y. Then they try and replace it here. Just a complete mess, okay? Don't do that. Let's manipulate this and see if we can rewrite it in such a way that it just looks cleaner. I mean, at the moment it looks quite clean, but we can definitely manipulate that a bit better. So what we could do, well, what some students do here is they expand the brackets. Again, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's bring everything into one term. So that's one over one. So we're gonna bring this all into one by doing a common denominator of x. So we're gonna cross multiply. One times one is one plus x times one, x, divided by x times one is x, okay? Then doing the same thing, one times one, plus y times one is y, divided by y times one is y, is one. Then we multiply the top and the bottom. And the cool thing about this is in the bottom, you're gonna get x times y, but I know x times y. x times y, is minus two if you move that two over. So in the denominator, when I multiply these together, I'm actually gonna put minus two, okay? Now on the numerator, for sure, we're gonna start expanding. So we have one plus y plus x plus xy plus xy. But we know what xy is. xy is minus two. Just replace it. You could do it in this line, you could do it on the next line. It's up to you. In fact, I don't even need the plus there anymore. That equals one. I'm gonna times two by the denominator. We hate denominators when solving. So times it by minus two, that is gonna be minus two. We have y plus x. One minus two is minus one. Is minus two times one is minus two. So we're gonna add the one. We're gonna get y plus x is, when we add the one, we get minus one. And we have xy is minus two. So I did tell you guys to wait to the end. Well, not to the end, but a bit further on. This is actually a, I was gonna say a posh way. Let's just call it a posh way of writing a straight line, isn't it? So now we're gonna solve this like we always do. So this is basically a GCSE question in itself. This is like the GCSE further maths part of the question. So how do we solve this? Now we're gonna rearrange for either X or Y. So from here, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Should we just rearrange for Y? A positive X here is a negative X over there. Plug that in here. So we're gonna get X, lots of minus X minus one is minus two. Minus X squared minus X is minus two. You can actually times through by minus one and then bring that over. So we get x squared, x, bring that over minus two. Factorize x and x and then we're gonna get two and one. How do you make plus one? You have plus two minus one. So x is minus two, x is one. Now we can just go back to this. Y is found by doing the negative of x minus one. The negative of x minus one is one. Here, the negative of x minus one is minus two. And there you go. Our answer, or answers, is minus two, one, and the other solution is one minus two. And that is a beautiful solution, Mike. So guys, if you liked today's video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Nice.